Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This will be a recap of week three's go live session. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys examples of what you guys did for your grade level, and we'll go from there. Okay, so this week during this go live session, we went over four different ways how to draw a flower. So we have a daisy, a uh, sunflower, a tulip, and a rose. And as you can see, they had different shapes on top and then different types of leaves in the bottom. And we had fun. So this took about 15 minutes. So please enjoy this unedited recording of this past Wednesday's go live session. Enjoy. All right, it's a little bit blurry at the moment, but hopefully you guys can see. Can you guys see my hand? Thumbs up if you guys can see my hand. All right, so this is camera two. This will be filming down. And I won't be drawing in pencil because uh, pencil is gonna be really hard to see. So if I were to draw in pencil right now, so if I was to write my name, Mr. Mill, that's really hard to see. So in order to be better than that, so you guys can see, if I drew my picture and marker just like this, it's way easier to see on camera. So I'm gonna wait a couple seconds, but if you guys wanna get a piece of paper and something to draw with, you guys can follow along. If you don't want to follow along, you don't have to. So if you just want to uh, watch for fun, that's okay too. But I'm going to teach you guys how to draw four different types of flowers. And it's going to be really exciting because when I was in second grade, I had trouble and they all looked the same. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Here we go. So what I'm going to do first is that I'm going to make sure my paper is horizontal. So make sure your paper's like this if you're following along. And uh, if you do have color, I'm going to start with my green first. And my green is going to represent the grass. So it could be a little bit blurry right now, which it is. That's only because it's having trouble focusing uh, and it needs some time to focus by having stuff on the paper. So once I draw more stuff on the paper, it should get more focused. So right about, so maybe I should keep my hand over here. Let's see, give me one sec. It's a little blurry, give me one sec. All right, it's less blurry now. Okay, so here we go. So that's my grass, right? All right, next step. My next step is that I need space to draw four different flowers. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna draw four stems. So if you want, you could draw four stems, but there's a certain way how I like to draw them in second grade. Instead of drawing just one line like this, just like that, I like to draw two lines to make it look more three-dimensional or 3D. Ta-da, so now I have two lines to represent one flower. So if I'm drawing four flowers, how many more stems do I need? Hold up a finger. Hold up how many fingers? Three. Good job. So I'm going to draw three more stems. So here we go. And I'm going to spread it out on the page so it's all not bundled up in one corner. Three. And my last one, four at the end. Four. All right. I'm going to show you guys four different ways how to draw flowers. I hope you guys enjoy. So if you guys watch my video of the vases, you probably know a couple of them already. But for those who didn't watch it, and I know who you guys are, <laughs> um, we're gonna try to draw it better right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys how normal people draw flowers. So sometimes they draw normal flowers with just a circle, but it's a tiny circle, so it's a tiny circle like that, okay? And then what sometimes people do, your age, is that they just draw long petals like this, and it's good. So this is one type of flower that I see all the time. It's a cool one, right? All right, so I like to draw flowers a lot. I don't draw them as much as I used to, but I'll start drawing them more now. But I like drawing flowers like this. And ta-da. So I just did a flower with a small center and large, long petals. So that's one way how kids your age draw flowers. Another way how sometimes kids draw flowers is with a, a bigger center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another color. Let's try to get orange here. I'm gonna draw a bigger center like this. Whoa, nice and big. And then, instead of having long petals, I'm gonna do petals that are small and short. So maybe I'll go like this. All the way around. So those are the two types of flowers that I see kindergarten, first grade, second grade. Even second grade do, this is great. But that's all that's the only flowers that they know how to do. So what I want to teach you guys is how to draw some other flowers 
just so you guys have more ideas and more variety in your drawings. So here I go. If you know how to draw a teardrop, it's exactly what the next flower is going to look like. So the next flower, I'm going to start a teardrop right in the center, just like that. Okay. Next step. All you're going to do is kind of draw two more teardrops in the back, but I'm going to show you guys my step-by-step -step how I do it. I like to draw an arrow this way, an arrow on the other side, just like that. And then after that, I just attach it to the bottom of the flower. Attach and attach. So you can keep it like that if you'd like, or you're going to add more detail by adding more arrows on the top. So one here and one there. You just made a tulip. Good job. So that's another way how to make flowers, which a lot of people don't understand how to do. But now you guys know how to draw three. Now, the most highly requested flower a lot of people ask how to draw is the rose. A rose is a little bit harder, but I'm going to show you guys the easiest way how to do it if you're in second grade. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to draw a spiral, but before I draw the spiral, it's going to be squished. So what I mean by that, so I'm going to start in the center, and I'm going to do a spiral going outwards, but it's squished. So it's going to go side to side like that. Ta-da! And notice how it's not attached yet. Next step to my rose. All I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cup underneath. So I'm going to cup it and cup it like this. And if I'm going too fast, it's OK. That's why I'm recording this video so you guys can rewatch it later. But I'm also going fast because we don't have a lot of time. All right, so I just made a cup. So now to make it look more like a rose, there is two ends of the spiral that needs to get connected somewhere. I can't just like leave it like this. So I'm going to take this end of the spiral. I'm going to connect it down like this. And then on this side of the spiral, I'm going to connect it down like this. OK, now here comes the hard part. Whenever there's the end of the spiral, it needs to go somewhere. So I'm going to go over here, connect it down over here like that. And on this end of the spiral, I'm going to connect it down like this. OK. So now it looks like a rolled piece of paper, kind of. And if you want, you can even add petals on the outside. Petal here, petal here. So it looks kind of like it's fanning out. And that's how I draw a rose. All right. I do have five more minutes left for you guys. So what yeah. I'm going to do, I'm going to take a green. Yeah. And I'm going to uh, show you guys some different ways how to make it look different. So the roses always have thorns. So I'm going to make a couple of thorns here and there. Just like that. And then for the rose, I am going to make the leaves kind of out like this. Little swishes like that. And then I'm going to make it spiky. So little spikes like this, tiny little spikes. It's not really that hurtful, but that's what they look like. Little tiny spikes like that. Ta-da. All right, so that's one type of leaf you could do for your flowers. The next one I want to do is a little bit different. A lot of kids don't understand, but sometimes the leaf comes directly from the ground, and they're nice and big like this. So that's another one. That's another type of leaf that you could do for the flowers, like that. All right, here comes another one. Another type of leaf, kind of looks like butterfly wings. Kind of go nice and wide like that. You can even make it uneven if you want. I'm just going to make three. That's one way I do uh, leaf petals. Uh, sorry, leaf leaves. And the last one is just the basic one. Just side by side, normal size leaves. And that's it. So if you want to add more decoration to the background or the grass, you can. I'm just going to add a little bit more zigzags on the bottom just so it looks a little bit better. And then if I had more time, I'd probably go back with crayon and then probably just color it in properly. And that's it. So with that said, I am going to turn my camera around. So I'm going to go switch back to camera one. Give me one sec. Hope you guys enjoyed that. So here's camera one. All right, now you guys can see me. All right, so if you guys uh, did this project with me, the flowers, or if you did the vase instead, you guys can show me your artwork now, and I'll be able to see it. So if you guys want to show me what you did just now, or if you want to show me the vase you guys did, you guys can show me. And since this is recorded, 
it will be on video as well. Good job, Merrick. Good job, Mia. Nice job, guys. These look great. I'm looking around. I'm seeing a lot of cool artworks going on. Good job, guys. Oh, and I see Grayson. I'm Good not job. really finished, and I'm, okay. I'm going to give it to my mommy. Oh, good job. Yeah, that's 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 uh, okay too. And also, um, yeah, you don't. I'm. I understand that some people didn't finish. It is a quick class, and it's only fifteen minutes, so art shouldn't take uh, that bad. No, I don't think it's that bad. I'm sure it's good. All right. So with that said, um, is there anyone else that wants to show me on video? All right. Good job. All right, good job, guys. Now, does anyone have any questions? I see Alyssa have their hand raised. Alyssa, what's your question? Alyssa, do you have a question? Um, are we going to learn how to draw, like, a tulip? The tulip's kind of like the blue one that we just did. Oh. So that was it. <laughs> It's okay. All right. So right now, uh, you guys have about a minute until you guys got to log off. So I'm going to say, I'm going to call it now. So if you want, you guys can uh, say goodbye. You guys can uh, leave the call. All right. See you guys later.